Hi Greta, so I didn't know how to contact you, that's why I make this video now, because I recently watched a documentary about you and I mean it's really amazing and incredible how much energy and effort you put into kind of changing the world and telling people and also politicians to listen to science and I mean I completely agree with that and probably most people don't have a clue how bad the situation really is. But then I'm also thinking that many people know how bad the problems really are on this planet, but then maybe they don't know what to do or how to change them. So I just want to tell you, I'm, I feel you completely. I was the same. Like After I finished school, I was traveling and learning about the world and understanding how bad the situation really is. And I was just like, it's incredible. So how can I change that? And then I was talking also to politicians and I was asking them, are you really trying to change this society or this system? Because I mean, so many people of the Fridays for Future movement are talking about system change instead of climate change. And I completely agree with that. But what is this system? What is our society based on? And where are the problems coming from? And I mean, I guess you completely understand that our economy is basically the root cause, like because profit is above everything else. But then what is our economy based on? What is this structure of our economy? And I mean, if you think about it, our structure of the economy and our society is just trade. That's what it is. Like, I mean, in order to access Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, I need to trade my data and my attention. I need to watch ads and I need to trade my data because YouTube and Facebook collects all that data about me in order to access these platforms. And then what if I want to eat and when I want to like live somewhere, I need to trade my energy, time, skills and so on in a job in order to get food and like the stuff that I need and want, accommodation and so on. And this trading creates an imbalance of power. Some have more and some have less. And I mean, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, they are billionaires and others are struggling to survive. So, and this imbalance of power gives rise to so many problems because it pushes people to lie, to steal, to cheat, to create bad products, to put profit above everything else. And this trade tsunami is going completely crazy because we can see so many different forms of trade, like in China, for example, with the social credit system. We can see influencer marketing. We can see data collection, what I was talking about, YouTube and Facebook and so on, Instagram as well. And we can also see cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum and so on. So basically, these are all different forms of trade. It's like different forms of one simple thing. It's like I have to do something in order to get something. And this is the core problem that nobody is talking about and nobody seems to be aware of that. So I just want to let you know that you think about that. Think about trade as a problem because that's the force that pushes people to create problems and to put profit above everything else. It's like in the game Monopoly, nothing else. And politics is just a symptom of that trade game that we play on a daily basis. So I really want you to consider and think about trade as a problem. And I highly recommend you to check out the book that the Trump project created. It's called The Origin of Most Problems. And I would just love if you would look into it and think about it. And in the end, I just want to say that actually I'm a super shy person, I'm super calm and I think I have this in common with you. But this idea is just too important to not scream about it. So I just would highly appreciate it if you look into it. Thank you.